and people in the front were like, shh, shh, like the ones that were trying to be nice about it. They were like trying to listen to my joke so they could be like, ha <laughs> that we should all realize that nobody's perfect. I was definitely the victim of an exorcism. I really backed myself into a corner of shame. <laughs> Sorry. Most embarrassing Monday. So I started in this business as a stand-up and I uh, always was testing jokes out in class, in school, in church. I was getting in trouble all the time, right? I was the kid who was like very mouthy and always doing impressions and teachers loved me or they hated me. And towards my, uh, when, as I got into high school, I started to, I discovered comedy clubs and I was like, this is amazing. And I was like, I'm gonna start building my own act. The only place I was really able to find an audience for my stand-up during my teen career at this was I, I was church. So they, we would have these like church retreats that would have like teens group talent shows with most of the congregation there. And I had uh, pulled jokes from other well-known comedians. And as soon as I got up, uh, I immediately uh, start bombing bombing yeah I'm telling uh, like I'm doing the all the traditional ones okay all the you know the difference between white people and black people the difference between uh, dogs and cats talking about the soap opera that I was watching at the time and not a laughter and this is this was a larger audience of like 300 Chinese Christians 12 years old to college some some of their parents some of the deacon wives all blank. There's nothing more tragic than bombing on stage, whether it's public speaking, or especially when you're supposed to be doing something you're not succeeding, in this case, making people laugh. And it's, it happened. At the end, I was you just gonna say, thank you very much, and people just clap you off stage. And the worst part is, this happened the first night of a three-day retreat. This happened on a Friday, so I had to sit through Saturday and Sunday. You know, we all walk back as a group to our rooms, and I'm just like in the crowd, and just, you know, no one's really making eye contact with me. Everyone's congratulating the girls who did hip hop, or the guy with the short film, or the one who played violin, show off. But not the guy who was telling white girl jokes. I don't know. <laughs>